Hi everyone. Uh, so today we are gonna uh, we are gonna learn about the um, new tutorial which I'm launched uh, for students to easy learn and make it in uh, in an hour. Okay. So let's start with the first uh, side of the page, which is the left hand side. And if you've purchased a kit from me, um, you would have three sheets like this okay um scored at half an inch on one of the sides okay scored at half an inch on one of the sides now these sheets are measured at six three by four by seven one by four inches okay so all three sheets will have a label like this six three by four by seven one by four scored at half an inch side a okay this is the left hand side we're going to prepare right now so if you've located these three sheets let's begin um, this is a board which i normally use it is called as a scoring board and this is a tool uh, which is used to score and i use the back side to press okay if you don't have a tool like this no worries you can use a butter knife and anything which is clean at the base uh, your sheets are already scored so you would not uh, you know require the bridges which are there on the board like this to score um, it, it, later on if you're interested you can purchase a board like this it's very useful for crafters so let's begin i have three sheets like this all you have to do is just press and just give it a good impression you can do it with your finger your nail but i want it to be nicely burnished when i say nicely burnished you have to press it nicely okay just make sure that you don't tear off the page so page number side a one page one sheet the second one and the third one okay so I've pressed all my sheets and I would also want you all to do the same and then okay this is on the other side but that's okay you have to keep the folded part on your left hand side and just arrange it like this we would be gluing here on the folded half an inch on this part can you see this part yeah so and then this half an inch goes on this part and this will go on our base so like that the three sheets will be glued okay i'm using a normal fevicol sh which i normally put it in a cone okay so this gives me easy you can use any glue which is good and holds nicely so just give me a minute my glue is little dried from the top okay so now I'm going to begin gluing the sheets. So you just observe first uh, for the first sheet. So I'm just putting glue here lightly. Try to put a little on the edges so that your edges don't come out. Okay. And you can, you can do the sheet. You can press the sheet and make it flat. But make sure that when you're gluing, you're not gluing on the line where you have done the folding. Okay. So little below that line you can do it so i'm just turning it for better visibility can you see like this yeah i'm leaving half an inch space i'm leaving a little bit of the folding line and then i glued my sheet and i have to burnish it well burnish it meaning press it well you can also open it and press it well there is a half an inch Fold, which is you mean see it's coming out that means I have not burnished it well so just give it and see here it's coming out it should not be like this so it has to be properly aligned to page so your your corners should be aligned so this corner has to be aligned with this corner okay and then burnish it well like that yeah can you see okay now i'm gonna glue the second one i'm gonna fold it i'm gonna take this sheet and i'm gonna put it just a little below the score line a little below 
ensure that your edges are straight okay and press once you are sure the reason we are using fevicol is you have a little bit of scope to move the page if you think that you've not you know glued it well and then once you're sure then you burnish it you can burnish with your finger also no need to use this tool if you are confident okay so like that i open the page and i burnish it well so you see all my three pages are glued i'm leaving this last half an inch because this will get attached to our base of the the binder which we will create for the album so one two three i think all of you must have done by now let's move to the second part the second part is now we would be creating pop-up elements on all three pages okay you can rub this later because it's with the pencil and it's upside down okay now i'm creating a pop-up element on the first part this one okay so and that would be our horizontal twist and turn layout so for that i'm gonna pick up you your kit would have sheets like this okay they are i'll tell you they are labeled as four sheets are labeled as six three by four by four one by four scored at half an inch on the six three by four side okay so you have four sheets like this and you have one sheet which is written as base which is six one by four by four one by four okay no scoring on this sheet this is a plain sheet okay this is a little dirty so please ignore that so now i'm just keeping it aside for the time being when you have these four sheets you have to score these sheets okay so let's do the scoring of the four sheets and pressing hard you already have must be having the score sheets just press them hard burnish them well you can use any side of the paper that's perfectly okay because later on you either you can paste directly the photograph or you can pay, uh, paste a colored paper over it and then a photograph it's completely your call now when this is the base okay now when we are attaching these four sheets on the base two sheets will go on the top and two will go on the bottom okay so like that i'm going to attach two sheets on the top and i'm going to attach two sheets at the bottom like this so let's do the same process just make sure that you are not uh, gluing on the score part and a little away and your sides are properly glued use eyeball it properly so that you are in line with the base sheet okay and then press hard like that again i'm doing the gluing of the second page on the same side that is on the top side yeah like that eyeballing it and yeah see you have to ensure that it is together and it is pasted well don't apply too much of glue also i'm just now burnishing it well all my pages when you burnish chances are that your pages would slip so be careful and you can readjust okay so there are two pages which i have attached on the top side of the base remove the excess glue if you are seeing anywhere okay otherwise the pages will get stuck to each other now go to the bottom i am turning it for ease and paste this side okay i was little off camera i'm sorry uh yeah so this this goes like this on the bottom align it well don't let it go above your scored line yeah you see this it should not go above this if you require push it a little up but it should have a little bit of space for the other page to fold well okay be very careful when you are doing this so now i'm burnishing it 
and this is my fourth piece which is the last piece of 6 3 by 4 by 4 1 by 4 I have scored it at half an inch at 6 3 by 4 side and this is the last piece which I am attaching on the bottom side of the base page you can do all of this with me okay so now again I'm burnishing it I have ensured that it is not hampering my score page so that it flips easily yeah let, don't let it go about if it is going about push this a little towards your outer side okay like that so you have two pages on this side and two pages on this side fold one fold second fold one fold second like that you have a booklet ready now we would on the back side to make it a swing page we use something called as oops, brads your kit will have these brads um, if you don't have it it's okay you can just paste this directly on your top page and you would have one type of layout only okay so if you are not comfortable with this step it is okay um, if you want to try i'll tell you how to make it a both side swing layout you can try it later also when I say brads, these are easily available on any stationery shop or Amazon. Um, they normally come in pack of 50s or 100s. You see, like this. They have two, you can say, tails, like a jellyfish. You know, something like a jellyfish. Um, see, it looks like this. Yeah. And we would be creating a swing feature now to create a swing feature this is your first base page right and this booklet goes on top of the base page i want the base page to have a little color okay so i would quickly cut a design paper and attach it first before i attach this to the base page you can directly attach and later on decorate the side because this wood side would not be very much visible you can see like that i want to attach a color to it so i'm i'm going to do that so this is your 6 3 by 4 by 6 3 by 4. When I cut a design paper, it would be 6 and a half by 6 and a half. 